good day. Good day to you too, Mrs. A. How have you been? Better, all things considered. I note you have not denounced me, yet. Thomas wanted you safe. I've no reason to deny him that. Then perhaps there is something you could help me with. I've had enough. I want out. But if I am to disappear, the King must believe me exposed. Pennington must write London to inform on me. Paris will soon hear it. Pennington cannot know the truth. So I have written the letter myself. I need only the captain's seal. Better the brave spy escaping the clutches of perfidious Albion than a deserter who abandoned her mission. My thoughts exactly. Give me the letter. I'll see what can be done with the bold captain's seal. So, what's the word around here? That depends. What is it that you want to know? I should really know about thick skin. What can you tell me? I'll not speak ill of thick skin, Mr. McGrath. She is a fine hunter. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. I should really know about Kate. What can you tell me? She's a good kid. Petulant, especially when her sister is involved. And her sister is always involved. Can you tell me a little about yourself? Me? <laughs> I'm just a cook. I make soup, I feed people. I do my best like anyone. I'm entirely unremarkable. I am uninteresting. I pass unnoticed. I'll take my leave, Mrs. Heek. Yes, do that. What have you done with her, Islander? Not right under his nose, Red. Come on. Drop the innocent look, son. I'm not buying. That mutinous varlet escapes her cell and you swan an eel out of care in the world. You expect me to believe the two unrelated? Is he looking for a new scapegoat? Already? Answer the question, McGrath. Where is Ellen Priest? Lost your prisoner, have you? Oh, I can't blame her for running, but I can tell you this. I had not a thing to do with it. And I don't know where she is. I should lock you up for this. You'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? All right, Captain. Settle down. Walk me through what happened. I... <laughs> I don't know what happened, not exactly. The cell keys have vanished, a mutineer with them. Now, her character is one part vinegar and the other malaise. Now, who knows what bitter treason she now foments. All due respect, sir, this is not my circus and Mrs. Priest is not my clown. This is not banisher business. That we know of. While she remains out there, flapping loose like an undone mainsail, there can be no trust in here. Find her, McGrath, and I shall believe you. Find her, and do what must be done. All right then, Captain. I'll see what I can do about Helen Priest. She was billeted in the armory. That too is where we locked her up. You have my permission to investigate. McGrath. Thought Jericho would only hold if I can maintain unity. Should Ellen Priest turn up dead, I'll not make a fuss.
Lovely man, really. Heathens and Philistines, the lot. A ghost damaged the sign. Someone left in a hurry. No spectral stains. This has been moved recently. Well, would you look at that? No mouse did that. Why does Pennington not know about this? His head's up his ass, that's how. Either we have a giant rabbit, or this is where she went. Giant rabbit? There's a thought. Helen could draw. These are fantastic. But where is she? Maybe we should start at her quarters. One time in a prison in Paris, I banished the rotting corpse of a bishop. <laughs> this is gonna be good. There was a growling in the dungeon, so down I went, alone. Empty cell, door locked, no pick. No idea how he got out, but he did. Turns out the bishop was possessed by a tyrant. Killed all the prisoners. Was planning a rebellion. Did we miss a few? The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. How good we are together. Yeah, it's always good to hear.
Spectre nearby. Big one. I'll summon it now. Mark Arsenal. I failed this one all right. Show your shape in flesh. on the ground. I'm right here, you know. If 
fancy a race. going all out. Stay in there. for a meat suit. Shake, don't you? Standing by.
The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. Is that some kind of cenotaph? I think so. A memorial to hunters lost. All hunters lost. This is the place. You. I had a feeling we'd be crossing paths again. If Pennington sent you, you may run along. I've nothing to say to any of you. Sebastian's husk vanished. It must have been hard to lose him all over again. How are you bedding up? 
My days are quiet. Some are better than others. At times, I am grateful for the memories. At others, they feel like fingers clamped upon my throat. I'm still learning to live around my grief. I wish I could tell you that time heals all, but I'm still learning too. Maybe it doesn't. One day, it will be safe to remember. In this, I trust. Count your blessings in the moment, for both are fleeting. You weren't easy to find. Why here in particular? I was with child when the first play came. I gave birth surrounded by the dead and dying. My son never had a chance. I wished to bury him away from the mines, away from the garrison. Somewhere his and his alone. I brought him here. I left him here. And I nearly did not make it back. It's peaceful here. I can see why you'd come back. I came to say goodbye. One last time. I'm curious. How did you escape without being noticed? I know Fort Jericho better than anyone. It has many ins and outs. If Pennington hadn't had his head up his own arse, he'd have known not to put me in those cells. <laughs> That's what I said. Did you have help? I still have friends in the fort. And if you think I'm going to tell you more than that, then you really are mistaken about my character. What are you doing up here? Did Pennington send you? Yes or no? Aye. He sent me. He thinks you plot against him. Let him. Let him imagine me lurking in the dark, waiting for him to turn his back. Let him live in his delusion. I don't think he needs you for that. If it's not me, it'll be someone else. A man in that state needs an enemy, real or imagined. I took that role. I hereby resign. I am done with Pennington, Fort Jericho, and all in it. What's the plan? You can't mean to stay here forever. I could. But no. When I'm ready, and the road is open, I'll leave for Boston and begin anew. For most of my life, death has walked with me. But to see how you banishers walk proud beside it, well, it's as if you dance along the road with death. That leads me to wonder. Perhaps it's time I embraced my gift and put it to good use. Perhaps I too may dance along with death. Have you always been sensitive to the invisible? I suppose I have. As a child, we'd play secret games in which we'd summon spirits, as you do. For me, though, sometimes they came. I remember, for weeks after my grandmother passed, I'd see her sitting at the foot of my bed. My father ascribed it to a wild imagination. He would not indulge it. You weren't imagining it. You have talent. Match it to your prowess in the fight, and you'd make a fine banisher. I was hoping to find someone to guide me on that path. It's a hard life. Dangerous. Lots of death. Anger, resentment. Grief. Well, then, I've been training for it for years. Be warned, child's play it is not. There's a lot more to it than clubbing spectres. Show me. Show me a real foe with a real banisher fight. Teach me. I'd happily be your teacher, but recent events mean I no longer qualify. Looks like you got yourself a new apprentice, Red. All right, I'll step up. Till you find someone better, mind. Let's show Helen how banishers fight. First of all, keep in mind that fighting spectres is rarely easy. They can be tricky. <laughs> Caution is always advised, but you're in good hands. I know a cave where we might find a fight. 
Follow me. Antea, how did you become a banisher? My mother was a healer. She had the gift. Taught me all she knew. But I was different. I had a gift for ghosts. At 15, I set off to develop it. I knew no one and had nothing. But my teachers saw my yearning for knowledge and took me on. And here I am. Quite the adventure. Over here. This is the place. Good instincts. This cave is badly stained. Time to dig. of power to make spirits manifest. Do you pluck them from thin air with your magic rings? It's more that we will them to come to us. The rings help channel the power. I summon you now! Another insight.
peso. That's how a fight goes. Most of the time. Except when your partner drops his sword, or loses the tie. Fairy stories. Neither of those entirely plausible things has ever happened. You fight well, Banishers. As do you. If I didn't, I'd be dead. If you're truly serious about becoming a Banisher, I may have a contact in Boston who could help. Her name is Elizabeth Gray. You should find her, if she wants to be found, at the Green Dragon, not half a mile from the wharf. Tell her I sent you. When you meet her, please tell her. Tell her she is now the best female Banisher in the land. She's interesting. I'd do some reading if I were you. Might help me make a good impression. Here, this book served me well. It'll serve you too. I shall treasure it. Thank you. Thank you both so much. Take care, Helen. Any last advice for a young-ish apprentice before you go? Love life. Even when you lack the stomach for it. Perhaps we'll meet again. God willing, we shall. The right words of power may force the nearby specters to show themselves. Toryito Skal! Think you could take on a ghost? Did we miss a few? Ah! 
Watch out. Spectre position. Reinforcements! Stay on your feet, Red. Stop a bastard. God, you're tougher than I can. Fly. The veil shields this one. This bite's not easily chewed. God, you're tougher than I can. But... Almost there. This heart. Standing by. Report. Where's Priest? From one soldier to another, and I'll not put it in writing, but tell them Priest shall pose you no more problems. My word. Such terrible tidings. Thank you. Not your affair, of course, and my so am I. From one soldier to another, and I'll not put it in writing. 
but I'll not mind if the purse on my desk goes missing while my back is turned. How are you doing, sir? How am I doing? How am I doing? It is strange. Ellen Priest's pricking thorn is plucked. The, the rage abates. The troop rebuilds. And yet, though the danger is past, I feel it present. I see things in the shadows. An unexpected noise may startle me, but that's not the worst. The worst is, I miss it. I miss the simplicity of inescapable doom. The darkness calls me back. It is the strangest thing. Nothing strange about it, Captain. In time, it fades. There will always be moments you hear the call. Just be sure not to answer it. Permission to take my leave, Captain? Permission granted. Odd way to make money, but I'll take it. Helen's free. Pennington is happy for Pennington. And soon there'll be a new banisher. Everyone wins. Signed and sealed. We can tell Prudence she's free. Good day. Good day to you too, Mrs. Hake. Pennington's seal is on the letter. So, I'm free. Thank you, sir. What will you do now? Whatever God has planned for me. I'll take my leave, Mrs. Hake. Yes, do that. Haunted house. Shall we? Ah, that is better. That is better indeed. Ah, can't an honest man catch his breath in peace? Now, where were we? Red McRaith, sir. Your friendly visiting banisher. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? Might I be of help? The man who killed the beast. I imagine you might. I hope you're not about to tell me there's another one. Oh, n nothing like that. At least I hope not. No, my... Bodyguard is missing, and with recent events, no one here seems interested. It's not like Jane to leave unannounced, and I can't run the store without her. Where to your mind might Jane have gone? <laughs> if I knew that, I'd tell you. I'm baffled. All these years, she's been nothing but loyal. How did you two meet? That may be a painful story. I'll not tell it without her consent. The question is moot. She's not here. 
And with the beast gone, Jane had the fidgets. But I never thought she'd abandon me. My mistake. She spent a lot of time in her cabin working on a map. Foolish of me not to realize she'd use it. He's genuinely worried, but there's something else going on here. I wonder what it is. Jane's map? What do you know about it? Where did it lead? Oh, I must now break confidence and share a little of Jane's tale. You ever hear of the hummingbirds? The hummingbirds are mercenaries. They and Jane share a past. She has for years been hunting them. I suspect she found a new lead and chose not to tell me about it. I should have a look in her quarters. Her cabin stands facing the store. I'll not object to you searching it. She may feel differently. Stay put. I'll look around. Please. And thank you. When her people were sick, the mercenaries massacred them. Of course they did. Cowards. She's very defensive about that particular patch of forest. Like you with the blanket when the night is cold. Jane doesn't trust her boss. We should poke through the squire's books. We're not opening that without a key. Shouldn't be hard to find. He's here. I thought I saw something shiny. I wouldn't have kept a key here. You probably would. There. The Squire's archives. Paris had traded with the Pennacook, Jane's people. Maybe he thought he'd make a profit on her. He's the type. Don't be so cynical. That's my job. Squire Paris bought Jane's freedom. Then hired her as his bodyguard. That was generous of him. Right. We should talk to the squire.
Yes. Hummingbird mercenaries massacred Jane's people. She likely seeks revenge. Ah, right. You don't seem surprised. Why do you think we came to a backwater like New Eden? She knew the hummingbirds had been here. You intended to help her take revenge? I would have, gladly, if I were twenty years younger. These men, what poor Jane endured. Perhaps she wanted to keep you out of it. What else can you tell me? Jane had a cache of weapons in the woods, at the Fiery Grove, as she described it. I suppose she means that the trees there are autumn red. Mm, arms in the woods, red leaf trees. Noted. Stay put. I'll look around. Please, and thank you. We must find Jane. Let's try this fiery grove. This must be Fear God's lair. Hopefully his writing is still around. Ritual of unbinding. This must be it. Yes. All you have to do now is repeat Fear God's prayer to get rid of a curse placed upon an item. Something wicked is tied to this. You are sent back. A fate met by many a holy man, unable to let go.
enjoying the target practice. Like you need it. One more walk through the void. something spectral nearby. Sneaky spectre nearby. I'd advise a summoning ritual. No step from the shadows. Focus, Red. I summon you now! I... 
least have all strength. The nightmare doesn't influence it. It's just a scourge. Rock. A letter from the dead, perhaps. I sense the fragment of a ghost's voice. What the? Oh, ho oh, there! Would you happen to know why the bridge is up? Sir? Don't! Oh. Uh. Could people not stop murdering each other for one bloody minute? And put us out of work? I must welcome the change at this point. Come on. The body would have floated downstream. Oh.